Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Will I call you Elizabeth? Do you ever shorten your name to Liz or Betty? Sure. Or? Uh, I like Betty. I've always Betty's liked... a nice name, isn't it? I mostly go by Liz, though. Liz. My Listen. father calls me Lib with a B. Why? He likes to be different. I don't know. Right, okay. Did he have a cold at one point in his life? And that's how he goes, <laughs> Lib, and you get me some real, uh, medication. You know, daddies have names for their little girls, and that's his name. Yes, they do. Mm -hmm. Yes, they do. Talking about. Uh, that's a whole different thing you're talking about there, Libby. Uh, anyway, um, Spider-Man 3, that's all right, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's all right. It's a big movie. We don't need to talk about that. What I want to know Ooh, about... Okay. Ghost Chimp MD. Oh, I, don't... I do kind of... I, I really... Know. You'd be great in that. That's nice. You'd be great. I love chimps, especially smart ones. I mean, smart enough to be He's a doctor, a doctor this chimp. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And, um, I, I look good in a nurse's uniform. I'll bet you do. And, uh, Maybe we should know. try that I'm first off the bat. I think if you recast it, then we can get it on the air, right? I mean... Well, well I hadn't, I'd only go as far as the chimp. You would be perfect as the chimp's uh, nurse. There we go. Or exactly. maybe... No, that, no, that's sexist. Doctor. Another doctor in the practice. <gasps> well, yeah, I Yeah, you're the kind of thing. sexy doctor and he's the kind of monkey doctor. Yeah, I can be a specialist. Yeah, you'd be a specialist on... Uh, and uh, what would you like to be a specialist on? Mm, how about... Teeth. No, urology. that's Urology. Urology? I don't know. I get to look at, you know, things yes, all day. Yes, you do. Yes. <laughs> I think you, you would be okay with that as soon as you got the little nurse's uniform. You'd be fine. And the, you're in scrubs? Yes. Yo, do you wear a nurse's uniform in that? Uh, no, I am uh, Zach Braff's baby's mama in oh. that show. So oh, I wear, that's not, not in real life, then. Uh, no, no, I wear a giant fat suit uh, or pregnancy suit, which is not fat for the ladies at home who are pregnant. Um, right. And uh, that's pretty fun. It's too late. Although, you lost them already. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I yeah, just, yeah. No, I've uh, dealt with a uh, pregnant lady before. It's, you, you, there's no winning in this no. situation. Anymore. Just say you're sorry. Uh, I'm and you sorry. Move on. It's all right. I'm sorry, all you fatties. Oh, hey! Whoa! Oh, no. She didn't be, the views expressed by Elizabeth Banks are not necessarily the views of the CBS Corporation or me personally. <laughs> I loved wearing it. It does make you walk differently and move differently. And when I sit down, because it's not actually attached to my stomach, um, it kind of comes up into my chest. So it looks like I have a head on top. I look like a sort of two pumpkins, basically. I think I'll stick with a little nursery outfit. I am going to do with that. Yeah, yeah, no. It's good though. Now you, uh, you're, you're married, right? I am married. Wait, yes. uh, is your husband an actor? No. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, yeah. he is not an actor. He is my college sweetheart, actually. Really? You married your colleague? How lovely. Yeah, yeah, almost 15 years we've known each other, which is... Have you been married itself. 15 years? No, mm -mm, no. I met him... When I first met him, actually, he was wearing a vest with no shirt. Whoa. Which I thought was very bold. Very swanky. <laughs> and, um, tattoos or no tattoos? No tattoos, no, no tattoos. Okay, classy. And, um, and we, we, got into a, <laughs> we got into a fight. He, he's, I thought he was hitting on me, mm -hmm. and I was interested. Right. And um, I said, well, you know, you should call me sometime, and, you know, here's my, I, here's my number. And he said, oh, yeah, I don't have a phone. <laughs> and I thought, dude, everybody has a phone. I mean, you know, if you don't want to call me, it's cool. But he completely and utterly rejected me. And, and then he, he started arguing. You know, I, I was walking away, and he's like, I really don't have a phone. It was the first day of college, my first day and he had not hooked up his phone yet yeah. he so, hooked up something um, else though didn't he yeah. Break, break he hooked up my heart yes he did and uh and yeah so that was it he did he ever he, did he ever get a phone he, ne or? he did get a phone but he never actually called me i think probably three weeks went by before he called me but i saw him again a couple days later and he remembered my name and i was wearing my boston red sox cap and he remembered my that i was a red sox fan and and so we went from there. So you are a Red Sox fan then? Do you uh, go Do you go to Boston? And you I go, do. Yeah, you from Boston? Uh, I'm from Western Massachusetts, which is the other end of the state, the other end of the Mass Pike. But yeah. uh, I've been known to go to Fenway many, many a game. You know, I've been to Boston a few times. And it's yeah. one of America's oldest cities, it right? Is. Now, when I went there, I thought, this is one of America's oldest cities. And I got there, and it's still not finished. <laughs> That's it's true. not finished yet. They're still <laughs> building it. Two hundred and three and four hundred years to be building this. That's a big yeah. dig. You know what the I'm talking big about? Big dig. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's a cobblestone, old school. You know, really pretty city. Do you watch the Boston Legal? 
Boston <gasps> Legal on? Do you Wait, watch is that, that Is that Shatner's show? Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that awesome? I only want to watch Shatter and Candace Bergen. No, no, James Spader as well. That, I'm oh, telling yeah. you, is that best show on television, <laughs> you know, outside of everything on CBS? That, I love that <laughs> show. That is a fantastic Let show. Let me tell you, it would be a great show, though. What? Ghost Chimpanzee. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. You're right. The girl's smart. Lesbian thanks, everybody. We'll be right back with Modest Mouse. Modest Mouse, make it right. It's lovely to see you again, and you look fantastic. So do you. Oh, stop. No, you. Really? You? Yes. No, you. <laughs> Actually, there's a parade in West Hollywood tonight. I'd really love that dress. Oh. Because yeah. yeah. I could never get into it. <laughs> or could I? You might yeah. get into it. <laughs> Three movies at the same time. I That's know. kind of careless, isn't I it? I just feel so silly, frankly. Right, yeah. I mean, it's not my fault. I will say that. Right. Uh, I didn't mean for it to happen this way. I shot them in the opposite order in which they're coming out, actually. So I was right. not, you know, W was kind of rushed. Right, yeah. We, we finished it, and it came out two months later. Yeah. And, That's uh, fast for a film, isn't really it? Really fast. That's usually television goes at that speed. Mm -hmm. we, we actually recorded this program two months ago. <laughs> I know. Dang it, I missed it. Yeah, it's all right. You didn't miss much. I did the recap in Australia, and it was I hilarious. I saw oh. the Australian recap. Oh, my Lord. Yeah. People were I laughing. No, no one in Australia drinks Fosters, apparently. That's what I'm told. I've been to Australia. And did they drink Fosters? I drank a lot of it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if they were drinking it. I was, I had mine. I didn't give a crap about they were drinking. Um, have you ever been to Australia? No. Oh, you, you should go. I know. I would love to They've go. Got, they have spiders there that when you go to the bathroom, the spider will bite you on the butt and kill you. How enticing! <laughs> Why wouldn't I go right now? Going, going to the bathroom is a big adventure! I, I don't know if I You're want that You're dancing kind of with adventure. death! I'm dancing with death most of the time I go to the bathroom. Really? Come on. Do you have trouble downstairs? <laughs> you can tell you me. I'm Dr. Craig. I can help you. <laughs> That's I'm, right. doc I'm a doc doctor. I'm not really a doctor. Gray. Would you be interested in being a doctor or just dressing I, up as one? I actually used to love biology and, you know, doing the frogs and tearing them open. And oh, I love that stuff. No. I love the television shows where they dig into everybody and the blood comes out. And you can see all that stuff. I love it. <laughs> I can't get enough. <laughs> I cannot what? get enough. Oh, the, uh, the... You know, the operator show. Like, where they're operator. showing operation. Yeah, that's your operator. operation. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> operation. I love that show when they have, like, five surgeons and we yes. see who gets voted off the island. Have you ever seen one? <laughs> exactly. I think that's me. Well, that would be good actually, wouldn't it? At least surgery. Yeah. Right? And surgery. The, the reality show surgery and you have different doctors competing to be top surgeon. Top doctor, yeah. Right? And you have different people that have to have an operation every week and if the person dies, you're voted off. Off. Yeah. I love that idea. Just something I came up with this, right there. Just right dude, there. Dude, this yeah. is why you have a career in TV. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's why I Here have this is. career in TV. <laughs> now tell me about the uh, about the role models film because I'm quite interested in this. I'm, I'm interested in the other ones too, but yeah. I'm interested in the role models film. Role models, you know, it's about these two guys who are are kind of losers and the worst type of mentor, and they become mentors to these young kids, sort of in a Big Brother program. Why? Uh, because they otherwise they have to go to jail. This is a this is an option in court. Now? Yeah, it's yeah, their, you it's, can actually... it's their community service. Ah, right, yeah. right. So they right. get they get sentenced to community service instead of jail. Right. So they're afraid of getting raped in jail. Right. And by other men. So I, they decide. I, I knew instead, what you were saying. Yeah. That, you know, yeah. you get I was what trying I... to get past it quickly. Is what I was doing. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, right. That's I can what... describe it for you. No, no, no you're, you're good. No, you, you don't have to. Um, and so anyway, they end up doing community service instead, and so they mentor these young kids, and they're terrible mentors. I don't know. Did you ever mentor anyone? <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Come on! I mean, I wouldn't let you near I my kids. I dropped out of high school at 16 <laughs> and I was drunk until I was 29! <laughs> Right. That's yeah, not no. someone you want. I mean, I actually got asked to speak at a, a, a college, though, a graduation thing. Did you do it? No. Why? Because, look, I dropped out of high school at 16, and then I get my show on TV, you know, 25 years later, or wherever it is, and they ask me to go and talk to the college kids. Right. What am I going to say to them? Right. Suckers. I never went. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Suckers. You could be just getting high and getting drunk. <laughs> 
You know, it's not. It's, that's true. I like that about yeah, you. No, yeah, no, I. You got to. You really it. know yourself. Yeah, yeah that's right. Um, well, I mentored some little kids. Uh, I worked at the Catholic Youth Center. Oh. And are you a Catholic? Uh, I was. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, you can resign from it now? <laughs> Apparently. Yeah, I'm thinking of having a tattoo removed as well. I think it's... And um, I, I, uh, I ran the game room, the after-school game room, and right. I also supervised dances for, like, 8th and ninth graders. So, really? you know, 12, 13, 14-year-olds dancing. And their favorite thing to do back then at the dances mm -hmm. uh, was to put, the boys would put their hands on the girls' butts. Oh. This is like I, the I big, that's still sexy thing, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and, do, and slow dance, you know? It's like totally stiff slow dancing with like hands on butts. You bet and it's all stiff. Yeah. <laughs> A 12 year old boy get your hand on an ass bubble yeah so of course all the other chaperones because i was like 15 at this point i mean i was right. a terrible role model for these kids so at 15 i'm thinking that's cute like how adorable and all the other uh you know all the other dance supervisors are like parents right. so they're walking around pulling kids hands off you Taking know just hands like, off of yeah, just like yeah. you see in a movie like a bad you know a bad john hughes movie you know like right. taking the hands off and i would thing, i would go <laughs> i would go back around and be like you can keep them on or or i would move kids into like dark corners and just be like <laughs> see what happens you know just stir the pot that's Stir fantastic. And is that what got you drummed out of Catholicism? Uh, partly. Yeah. Partly. It was the first step out for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. That's it. And yeah. then, and then the, the Zach and Miri make a porno movie. Yes. You make a, you make we a make por a porno. You make a porno. Yeah. Do you do porno things in the movie? Uh, I do do some porn. I do some things in the movie. I, I convinced myself naively, frankly, mm -hmm. that I wasn't that concerned with it, like, oh, it's fine, you know, I have sex with Seth Rogen, but I don't do anything I'm embarrassed of, and I don't do anything that, you know, I wouldn't let my mom see. Right. And then my mom saw it. Ah. And I realized that it's very intimate, this moment, and uh, it maybe wasn't, I didn't quite think it through. And now, my in-laws, my husband's parents. Go see, what did your husband make of it? They're yeah. threatening to see it, and oh, which I want them to see it on a certain level. Yes. I just want them to be able to close their eyes and ears and all other senses for like 10 minutes of the movie. <laughs> but I don't think they're going to be able to do that. So I'm not sure if, they're, if it's going to get seen by them, but we'll mm. see. I well, mean, it's really it? scary to have your dad-in-law, like go see you like have sex with someone other than their son <laughs> it's not really it's i can't not, go anywhere near this like, you know, it's I, not, I just, like if you yeah. were so you know if you had a daughter-in-law that you were like respected and loved and you know you just wouldn't want to go see them you know make it with seth rogan <laughs> i don't know I, you really, <laughs> Well, yeah, yeah. maybe, I mean, uh, maybe I'm in the clear. I, I don't, don't know. know. I mean, I'm, I'm European. We're kind of into all that. Yeah, kind of thing. I, mean, I don't know. They're not European. Yeah. I'm well, in trouble. Listen, well, good luck with it, and, and, and well done, and congratulations on the enormous success. Thanks. I mean, it's just, just lovely. It's lovely to see you again. And you. Elizabeth Banks, everybody. We'll be right back. She didn't know how right she was. Please welcome Elizabeth Banks, everybody. Elizabeth Banks. My love, how are you? I am great. You look sensational. Oh, May I say it's, sensational? It's the red. It's my, this is my. No, the red's just a color. I've seen red. It's you mm. inside the red that's Ooh. working it for me. Absolutely, Saucy. and your shoes are very nice. I know these yeah. are. Well, we know what these are. Whoa, these are yes, come blank me shoes. This, that, those shoes are. Uh, oh, what did you say? <laughs> No, I thought those shoes were a little more like you. Usually, when girls wear them, they're dancing. Ah, you know, gentlemen, please welcome. Oh, uh, apparently. Interesting. Aren't they, aren't they stripper? Don't they, you think they're stripper heels? No, I don't know. I don't know. No, I think about. that's exactly what you were saying. I was implying it. You would know better than me. I would not know. I, I only. Have... I look. I made the joke first. I said they were come blank me shoes. Yeah, come fly with me. <laughs> I just wanted to put my legs up on the desk. Yeah, you do. Look, I have to be yourself. careful. Yeah, I can't no, show my whoopie boops. Yeah, no, be careful with that. All right. Uh, yeah, be careful. <laughs> How are you? You're all right. Three movies, for heaven's sake. That was Laura Bush you were that doing That was, there. yeah. I've met her. 
When? Oh, you hosted the, yeah. Yeah, the White House Course I one. met her too. Really? Yeah, what did you think? I thought she was fabulous. <laughs> In what in what way? She was actually very sweet to me. She was very very nice. She yeah. was very uh, Texan and very uh, friendly and yeah. polite. And I, I I wish I could say something dramatic and bad about her, but I can't. I, I she was felt very the nice. Same way, yeah. She yeah. was wearing pearls in a twin set when I met her. She so was I. Very oh. much, you know. <laughs> she looked very much the first lady. I was surprised by her accent, though. She's so Texan. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, it, it's it is her identity. So, it, right. But I don't know. It was very shocking to me that that she. Uh, maintain such a, a deep southern accent. Yeah, I know. No, she must work very hard at it. I do the same. <laughs> what about, uh, what have you been, you're making three movies. Um, have you been doing any uh, theatre or any kind of... Um, you know, I did an improv show this weekend. Nice. Well, that's um, good because you don't have to rehearse for that. No, that's true. Yeah. You just show up and do it. And I actually, uh, I, I, I mostly just did monologues and I... I fashioned myself a connoisseur of poop stories. Hello, matron. <laughs> yep. Um, and so I, this, the, my, the entire improv show became about poop, actually. <laughs> do you know many poop stories? I do. One of my favorite poop stories. Please do tell actually, me. It. Yeah. Is um, it's about it's about a friend. Uh, this is this did not happen to me. Okay. Um, but my uh, a that friend of mine, a, really, right. um, a friend of mine ha was you know just having the worst time of her life. She couldn't get a job. She had been dumped. You know, it was like she was down the dumps. And a friend of, her, of hers had moved to London recently. So she went to visit her in London. Have a, have a big, you know, girly party mm. in London. So they go out. They're having the time of their lives, drinking a little. They meet up with some dudes. I like this, it. Yep. I like where it's going. This one guy um, mm -hmm. hits on my friend and she's like, he's the perfect guy to meet when you're having the worst time of your life. You know, he's, he's compliments her and he's lovely and he's into her and so they of course one that's thing leads that's to the another criteria well they go back to his apartment you look sensational i'm really into you yeah done <laughs> sometimes that's all a woman needs oh wow, wow so they go back to this guy's place and of course they do it oh and, uh, that's great um the next morning <laughs> yep <laughs> the next morning, um, the, and the, the doing it didn't involve poop. So the next right. morning... So he wasn't German then in any no, way? No. Right. no. So uh, he has to go to work, but he says, you know, make yourself at home, take your time, uh, have some breakfast, and, you know... And then, and then get up. Leave me your number, I'll call you later. Okay. It was very lovely. So, of course, she's, like, snooping through his stuff, and she's, like, you know, having the time of her life in this beautiful London apartment. She's glowing from the night before. Everything's great. She goes to um, do her business, her, da her, you know, daily poop. All right. And, um, you know, <laughs> it's, it's, reading, it's reading his magazines and having a lovely time pooping. <laughs> and uh, goes to flush, and the water has been turned off <gasps> in the apartment building. Calamity! There's no flushing. There's nothing to flush. You can't flush it. So, she gets a baggie. <laughs> Leave it there. So she gets a baggie and she scoops it into another baggie. And come on, you've all, if you have a doggy, you pick up after your doggy. So yeah, a doggy? Like that's different. It's on grass. It's your own poop. It's not like someone I else's don't... poop. <laughs> no! So this isn't where, this is not even the best part. Oh, really? So she puts the poop in a bag and she ties it up and she's going to take it, you know, and throw it in the garbage. So. She, because she's clearly not leaving it in the apartment. I mean, right, right, that would right, be a disaster. Yeah. So she writes him a lovely note on his kitchen counter and leaves her number and says, "You were, you know, this, it was so great to have met you. I really needed to meet you at this time in my life." And um, she gets all of her stuff together and she goes out of the apartment. And just as the door clicks shut, she remembers that she left the poop on the counter. <laughs> She never heard from him I again. was going to say, did he call her? No, he didn't call. I'd have called her. <laughs> I'd said, you are so freaky ass woman, let's get it on. That's amazing. Yeah. Did that really happen? Yeah, that really happened. Wow. Yeah. 
Well, that, no, but it didn't happen to you. No, that, that didn't happen to me. I right. can honestly say that. Well, no, it wouldn't happen to you. You've been married now for like 15 I years mean, or something. I mean, I have been married, yeah, a long time. So. Right. And I, I, try, I try not to leave poop for my husband. No. Lying around. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes. He would probably argue with that, actually. <laughs> would he? I think it's good to keep things, you know, spiced up in your marriage. Maybe, <laughs> maybe a little bag of poop here and there, my you know? Just, it's a part of life. Yeah. You know, we all do it. Where did you meet your husband? I met him. You love talking about my husband. Well, because I fancy you. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to figure out if it's going to work out between you and him. We've been together a lot. Yeah, it's working. Yeah. 16 years we've been together. That's fantastic. Now, I'm actually yeah. fascinated by that. That's great. I know. Did you meet at school then? You must yeah, have met at school. Yeah, I met him my very first day of college. Wow. Uh, yeah, and he took me right off the market. When did you, when did you go to college? I went to the University of Pennsylvania in Philadelphia. Is that a good one? It's a pretty good one. Yeah? yeah. What did you study? I studied communications and um, in theater arts, and I thought I was Beer drinking, be, sounds like I to me. I did a lot of yeah. beer I studied sorority arts. Uh-huh. <laughs> I did a bit of that. I don't know what that means. <laughs> it's, uh, it's the art of being, um, of just getting boozed up most of the time. Oh, yeah, you know? no, I, 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 I've studied the sorority arts myself yes. then. Well, and it's, I, I'm so happy that you that you came back and and, was, and visited with us and told us the lovely story yeah. about your friend and the poop. Yep. I feel. I think that the more we can say poop, the funnier that word just never loses its funniness. I agree. Poop and boog are, are never not funny. I, I agree totally. Yeah, yeah, no, I. Totally. I mean, I wish you had a bat in the cave right now that we could talk about, but no. <laughs> I'm a bat in the cave. <laughs> you never heard that. <laughs> Who's to say I don't? <laughs> no, I, uh, I, I don't. No. I can like, No. It oh, looks a, a clear. bat. Yeah, no, no. A no. bat in your cave. Yeah, yeah, right. Hello. <laughs> What well, it's Scottish? been lovely. Yeah, it's Scottish. Yeah, we don't, we you don't, don't have that. We don't have you bats. Don't have no, we, we say, uh, you know, we say uh, something else in the cave. <laughs> <laughs> Sheep in the cave. I don't know. <laughs> All right, we have to go. Uh, the lovely Elizabeth Banks, everybody. We'll be right back. Elizabeth Banks, everybody. Absolutely charming, and I have Thank to you. say, I'm very happy to see you blonde again. Thank, yes, me too. That was a wig in that clip. Really? Yeah. So you never went that color at all? I have gone that color, um, just not for that movie. I couldn't do it for that movie. I don't even remember why. I was doing something else. I had to be blonde. We wigged it. We wigged it? We wigged it. Is that how you say it in Hollywood? Yeah. Nah, we wigged it, man. <laughs> I like it. I'm going to wig it later. Hey, Jeff, you want to wig it later? <laughs> yeah, man. Let's yeah. wig it. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations, you just got a new little baby running around. I That's have, nice. yes, a, a mini human lives in my house with yeah. me now for like the next 20 years. Really? Yeah, I've no, like I, I've got a permanent roommate. 18, out you go. You're out. Yeah. I, I'm giving him an extra two, I don't know why. No, I don't know. What name? Maybe I'll Do change name? my mind, mind. His name is Felix. Oh, that's nice. Yes. Is he a cat? <laughs> he, he gets a lot of cats as gifts. Right. Um, yeah. No, I, it means happy. Does it really, Felix? Happy that's a nice name, lucky. actually. You should have another kid and call him Oscar. By the way, a lot of people, a lot of people think his name is Oscar. These these young kids have no idea who Oscar and Felix are. By the way, there's no That's young kids in this crowd. I don't know. I don't know who you're seeing, but we get bus We're parties like... coming in from San Bernardino, and they're. Uh... <laughs> now, uh, were you getting any sleep? How old is he? He is uh, he's four months, and my he takes very good care of us. So I have to say, he sleeps really well. Yes. Really? Yeah. Do you know, I've got a six-month-old. He, he doesn't sleep that good. No. No, no. It's clearly your fault. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I don't know about you. I, I've got an older boy and who's 10, who I still go in at night when he's sleeping and poke him to see if he's still That's alive. Sure Just go poke him. I know. Yeah. That is a constant. Like, Are you all right? Like, yeah. Dad, I what? You know, I'll, when he's going to college, I'll be like coming into his dorm, like, yeah. hey, you all right? You all right? It is sort of, it's sort of—it's—it's what we take on when it's, we bring yeah, him into the world, isn't yeah, it? I, yeah, I—I don't know. I—I'm kind of worried that I'm a crap parent. No. Thanks. I feel better. <laughs> Do you think you'll be strict? Everyone Are you going to be strict? Are you going to be kind of tough? Yeah. Were you wild when you were a kid, though? Were you kind of unruly and rebellious? 
Uh, not really. No, I, I was pretty much a goody two shoes. I mean, I was someone who got away with a lot of stuff because I that's was not a goody two shoes. That's a sneaky two shoes. I was a little sneaky. I was a little sneaky. I was like the girl who did like really well in school, and it, it was one of those things where like if you had A's on your report card, like mom and dad don't really ask questions. Do you know what I mean? Like, really? Yeah. That's right. where I went wrong. <laughs> One of the one of the ways, yeah. Were you very were you very wild? Did you go to college? I did go to college. As yes. an actress, I was did you find that necessary? Really? Thing. Yeah. Did you yeah. did you, yeah. what, did you have did a it. Delta Delta Delta? Can I help you? Help you? Help you? Was that it? Yeah. Was that it? I was a tri Delta. Yes. Really? Yeah. I was married to one of your Side sorority girlfriends. Really? Yeah. How was she? Right. <laughs> So I guess I no, no, no. I'm married. I'm married again, but uh, but not to a Delta. Not to a Delta. No. no. Okay. No. Did you did you meet your? Uh... Yes, I met. He was a fraternity boy at the really? time. Really? Yep. I met him on the lawn of a frat house. He hates it when I tell this story, but no. Uh, let's hear. <laughs> was he passed out comatose drunk and people were pouring beer into him? No, but he was a sophomore and I was a freshman, and I I still. Um, Make fun of him because he was very much trying to take advantage of like new girl, you know, on the block, right. and was like, I know the ropes, like you know, I'll take you around, I'll show you all the good stuff to do, and it was like, our where, where was this exciting place? Um, it was in Philadelphia. Ah, yeah, the University of Pennsylvania. Oh, that's nice. I like Philadelphia. I saw that bell there, you know. There's a, the Liberty Bell. <laughs> yeah, it's a very American thing. It's broken. It's broken. It's got a big old. I was like. Do I say anything? I'm a new way, citizen. I don't want to like suddenly arrive and go. How your bell's it, broken. How does it break? I don't know it's why like it broke. I, I don't know. Iron. Like how the hell do you get a? Well, you know? maybe it was temperature. Maybe it was the British. What are you, smarty pants? All of a sudden, <laughs> it was the temperature. Yeah, the temperature. Like, you know the temperature. The, yes. Sure. Look, metal expands in heat. You <laughs> might as well know. Metal expands in heat, contracts in the cold. All right. That it's much like gentlemen's equipment. <laughs> Exactly. That's true. Yes. Do ladies have the same problem? Like, do things expand and contract d during... <laughs> it's a fair question. And, and it's based entirely in science. It's a sign to... I, am I ask... want you to go home to your wife. No? I want you to put her in the cold tub and just take a look. Put her in the cold tub? <laughs> uh, no, 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 it's an experiment, honey. You're the scientist. No. No, you're the scientist. I'm asking you, as a scientist, do ladies expand and contract in the cold like metal and gentlemen's equipment? Yeah, but only because we're only because in the cold we eat a lot. Oh. We gotta pack it on. Pack it on there. That's yeah, where, well, that's it where it goes on for me anyway. Me it goes right here. No, I think it's the thigh. I don't. I, every once in a while, a little, little uh, muffin top, but no, very I, rare. I get, ooh, I get, I get of a jumuk. <laughs> I don't even know what, I don't think I want to know what that is. It's a new word I'm trying out. <laughs> I, I don't think it's going to make it past the censor though, is it? <laughs> no, no, I don't like it. I pack it on here. I wish I packed on, I wish I was like a lady and packed on uh, weight in my thighs, because then you can just wear bigger pants. <laughs> come on. What do you mean, come on? Come on. You, you'd rather ha I, look, I don't want it anywhere, in all honesty. I'd rather not pack it anywhere. I'd, I'd love it if I could eat cupcakes and not pack it on anywhere. Well, you know, That's you, what, be you, my dream. you can't, you can't, you can't have that. <laughs> science doesn't allow it. No, science does not allow it. <laughs> Do you eat a lot of cupcakes? Do you have a sugar problem? Uh, I wouldn't say, I, I don't need help or anything. You know, I don't need to like, I don't need to seek Are therapy sure? for it, but sure, I, I eat, I eat some, some cupcakes. I've been known to eat a few cupcakes. How many cupcakes do you eat a day? Uh, I, it would, I would say it's more of a weekly thing. I don't mm, want to say it's a mm, daily mm, thing, mm, but I mm, really mm. love cupcakes. And, it, and mm. speaking of your thing, it depends on the time of the month for me. <laughs> the hell? <laughs> well, you eat you eat different Certain things. Certain times of the month, I'll eat more. Cup, I'll have a craving for more cupcakes. Come on, yeah. This it's a lady thing. All ladies know this. All ladies are down with this. <laughs> Either cupcakes or chocolate or, you know, so whatever you your thing is. You guys just make caramba. Up and then justify it. It is totally oh, scientific. Come on. Oh, it's the time of the month. I need to steal your car. Oh, it's the time of the month. I'm going to, oh, sorry, I had to shoot you, but I was the time of the month. What the hell is
business. What about accountability and responsibility? <laughs> it's just how it is. I guess. I don't mind. You sure look pretty. Thank you. Is the movie good? The movie's really funny. Uh, the movie is, I was saying to someone that uh, it has a lot of surprising humor in that it's a very it's a very sweet movie about this family and we have this idiot brother and three sisters which is actually my family. Um, Don't say that's the you're saying your brother's an idiot. No, my well, <laughs> I mean, no, he's a sweetheart. <laughs> My, my brother's name is actually Jeff, G-E-O-F-F. -F. Like your oh, fan, like, like fancy Jeff. Jeff. Yeah, oh, fancy Jeff. Oh, how about that? Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, but uh, the movie has a surprising number of penises in it. <laughs> it's a very sweet movie on so many levels. And at the end of the movie, I just remember at the end of the movie, someone saying like, wow, like that, there was a lot of penises in that movie. And I kind of forgot. If I had a nickel for every time I said that at the end yeah. of the movie. Well, <coughs> we're out of time. <laughs> so, uh, mouth organ, awkward pause, touch my glittery ball. Oh, the ball. Uh, I was hoping you would say question. that because the, the touch my glittery ball thing, I, I don't really know that we've got really a bit for Hand that. Hand it over. Oh, you think you can... Well, I mean, I'm going to touch it. Yeah, but... <laughs> Well, there's two. This is a problem. We get the. I like what you're doing there, though. <laughs> you're gonna have to get them closer together and uh, really? and lower your expectations. <laughs> Here's a problem. Here's a problem right there. We got your high tech. Well, and, uh, one's bigger than the other. That's right. That's, that's common. That's common. <laughs> So, one of them is just a glittery, standard glittery ball uh -huh. on a roll of tape. Oh, sure. Uh, and the other one, high-tech uh, industrial light and magic. Whoa. Glittery. Yes. So, this one. That's this one is like in Ghost. <gasps> when they yeah. do the thing. Right. We'll do it then. Let's reenact right? it. <laughs> Elizabeth Marks, everybody. Don't you take the name out of the sorting hat? I don't get it. <laughs> Please welcome the lovely Elizabeth Banks, everybody. Hello. I can see your color blocking. Yeah. You are so fancy with your color blocking. I know about things. Wow, I guess so. It's great. You look fine. It's the dark blue and then the other the, blue and all sorts yes. of. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Great. Color it's blocking. Very nice. That was a very serious clip. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. You, the character it was sort you of played, a downer. No, it was it was great. It really brought the show to a screeching halt. Yeah. The, uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, for sure. No, but this movie's going to be huge. It's going yeah. to be enormous. There's, well, there's a, you know, that's a very exciting moment in the actual movie, unlike uh, the clip on the show played. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but you got to take it in context. If you knew yes. what was going on, exactly. if you'd be watching the movie. Hey, I understand. Exactly. And your character, Pippa Middleton, yeah. is the... That's uh, that is. Pippa. Is the... Uh, what? <laughs> I'll take it. Yeah. The derriere on that Pippa. Is that Pippa Middleton? Yeah. I gotta tell you, I went back and I I'd watched do anything that again. To have that not behind. So great. What are you talking no, about? Not so great. Yeah, uh, listen, I I look at women's asses a lot. I I like. It is a fine looking behind on Pippa. I don't know. Okay. Come on. Okay. Come on. It wasn't. It's not J Lo. Oh, come on. on. Who's J Lo? I mean, that's a that's a tough act to follow. Do you know why I once uh, was at a Hollywood event and uh -huh. I it was a you kind of theater? Yeah, uh -huh. the last time I went. Sure. And. Uh, I was sitting in a, a seat, and she uh, it was like in the theater, and she had to uh, pass me. I had to stop, and it went right by me. Right, yeah. like in your face. Like I was like... Yes. And in my head, as yeah. it was going by, I went... Did it knock your nose or anything? Oh, I wish it had. Uh, <laughs> I used to ride the subway in, uh, in New York City all the time when I lived in New York, and my biggest fear was someone, a man's junko in the face. <laughs> And you're right at I the know, same right level. There, yeah. And then, and, and, and they all strap hang, as yeah. they say, which sounds sexual. Sounds a bit dirty. Yeah. 
Yeah. So they're strap hanging right in your face with yeah. their junk. Do you think guys do that purpose? Do you think guys are like kind of like? I hope yeah. not. Yeah. I mean, exactly. It's like it's yeah. right there. Yeah, no, it's terrible business. It's horrible. Although if you get the seat by the door, that's the best place for yeah. it. Yeah. Because <laughs> you can do it and then get out. No, no. I I take the seat and watch. Oh. Uh. oh I thought you were like hanging no, and no, going. No, I would never do that. That's sure. awful. Do you I, do you take a lot of public transport when you're in New York? I think. I do actually. Really? I just took the subway the last time I was there. Oh. Yeah. I, it's the fastest way to get around. I get ill in the taxis. You get ill? I get like sick to my stomach in the taxis. Wow. Also, I was, I've been in two accidents in the backseat of taxis. Always wear your seatbelt in the back of the taxi. Yes, that's true. CBS goes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, you, you should, because people get in the back. I, I, and I, I um, slammed my head once wow. against the, you know, the divider. Yeah, the bulletproof and this is screen. And this is the moneymaker. Yeah. Right. yeah right so there. you can't, you got to strap this in to the yeah. back of the taxi. So there, that's the other reason I don't, I don't go on them. No, but I get a little car you sick. maybe wear a crash helmet. <laughs> Just like around? Yeah, like um, around. I mean, you protect again, your assets. Yeah, but then you can't see the moneymaker. Well, you don't have to see it if you're on the day off. You, you know, know I mean? Well, Just reveal it while you're working. <laughs> <laughs> and here I am. I will take that under yeah, consideration. No, good. You do look good, though. You do look very, very well. Thank you, you very do, much. You're doing something... Uh, you know, I, I work out and then try and eat well and, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. sure. Are you one of them vegetarians? No, I eat love meat. Do you know, Can't get enough meat. Let me tell you something weird about this. What? I got food poisoning about a month ago. Worst. It's awful, right? Yeah. And it you was double under or one under? Oh, no, everything. Blah, blah, yeah, blah, all, ears, eyes, yeah, everything. everything. I was like, ah! yeah, exactly. Right? That's what it's like. And, sure. and I, uh, and since then, like, and I'm, I like to grill and barbecue yeah, and yeah. everything. I can't look at meat, can't do it. What? I know, it's crazy. I'm the reluctant vegetarian. <laughs> Nothing, like chicken even? Do Can I'm, you I'm do like, fish? It was from a piece of chicken. I can't, uh. I'm, I'm eating tofu. It's driving me crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, I mean, you know, do you, well, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's a terrible thing. I don't know really, it's, it's awful. Yeah. yeah, I had a burger yesterday. It looked deli it was delicious. It See, had, I, like, I put an egg on it and everything. See, when, um, what the hell? Yeah. <laughs> Put an egg on your burger? Well, yeah, my husband what are you, and I French sh or we something? shared it at this uh well what's so wrong with the French really? Well, an can egg we, on your can burger, we get past that's like this already. What? The French thing. I'm fine with the French. Like let's just get good with it, right? Egg on burger, you're fine with this, clearly. Yes. They have some good ideas. They put butter in everything. Yeah. Great idea. That. No, I'll give you that. <laughs> they have the city of lights. Great yeah, idea. I, we took awesome. the show there. We took the I look at you, look at you. Yeah, but see, my... but you tried to turn it American. Well, I, I suggested this as a new color scheme. And they, <laughs> it was met with some reluctance by our French brothers and sisters. <laughs> think? They weren't keen on it. I mean, I think they were very welcoming to your show. No, they were. They were very nice. Do you yeah. spend a lot of time in Paris? I wish. I'd, I'd like to spend more time there. No, yeah. I don't, though. Have you ever been? It's there? lovely, and I don't speak any French. Non parler Francois. I don't know. <laughs> I, that's not even. Sounded good enough to me. I don't if know you what can't that speak is. the language in Europe, there is a tip. Just speak English, English. in the <laughs> accent you, that you think they sound like. They love that. They, they love, love it. That. They appreciate the gesture. They really do. When you go, hello, it is <laughs> yeah. nice to be here. Exactly. Exactly. They, they love it. That. And yeah. in Germany, you're like, mm, oh, don't do a lot of this. They yeah. love that. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, have you been all around Europe, have you? I have been, and, and we, well, we just went for the Hunger Games. We went to London and oh, Paris yeah. and Berlin, oh, speaking nice. of France, and yeah. yeah, we didn't get to see a lot of the cities. I mean, we saw a lot of inside of hotel rooms. Yeah. <laughs> well, we talked about the movie a lot. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah. I, I imagine it's like that in successful movie making. <laughs> I'd like to go back to Paris with my lovely husband. So yeah, that'd be nice. That yeah, would be yeah, nice. yeah, yeah. Is he French, your husband? No, but he, he studied it in high school, so he speaks like six words of it. That's enough. <laughs> That's all you need. What yeah. was your ability to He can get to us to the airport. That's and he says fancy things like, bon. When someone says like, okay, no problem, sir. And he goes, bon. Which I think means like, okay, or good, or something. Do you know a good one is, uh, bien sûr. What? What? Bien sûr. What's that mean? It's of course. Oh. So you just go, bien sûr. Bien sûr. Yeah, bien sûr. Bien sûr. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Or, and if you don't say it, just imagine yourself saying Beyonce. Uh -huh. 
in a French accent. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's your Rosetta Stone right Absolutely, there. Absolutely, right Just there. Just like yeah. thinking of the English words that it could be right, like. Right, it could be awesome. I like that. No, I can say, bon, you know, bonjour, bonsoir. Uh, that's it. And that's it. Au revoir. Yeah, that's all you need. Right? A bientôt. A bientôt. Adios. No. <laughs> That's not one. I well, Spanish I almost, people can't go to France all of a sudden. <laughs> I almost said arrivederci, but I don't, no. that's not one either. No, but they don't even say that, by the way. They say ciao. They don't, yeah, but they they don't say really say arrivederci. Well, it's, ciao is a kind of all-purpose word. It's like aloha in Hawaii. Yeah, you exactly. just use it they, for everything. everything. All right, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, ciao, yeah. Yeah, ciao. <laughs> yeah. We're so worldly. Yeah, we are. Are we? We're well, you with your color so blocking. Worldly, I know. You look good though. I like your shoes. They're big. Yeah. Look how big these shoes are. You want to see it? Look. See Don't that. put your shoe on the table. It's oh, bad luck. Why? It is. Oh, it's bad luck. Yeah. Says who? The Japanese? I'm guessing. Is that right? Am I right? I just want to know if that's who it is. No, my mother. Oh, it's just you. Oh, it's the. Who was in fact Scottish? Japanese? Yeah. Yeah. No, my mother in Scotland. Sorry, says, gosh. Don't put your shoes on the table. Tis bad luck. <laughs> was she also a witch? Like, what? <laughs> where's that voice from? That's, that was her voice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, she That's would, unfortunate. She would turn, <laughs> turn into a cat from time to time. <laughs> We have to take a commercial break. Oh, no. Well, that's good for you, the show, I guess, because it means they're sponsors. Like, people, <laughs> people are buying ads, which is good, I guess. I don't know. As far as I can tell, it's just boner pills and uh, <laughs> the other thing that we do here. You wouldn't even say anything. Uh, <laughs> right, we'll be right back, okay? We'll be right back. Welcome back. Did you enjoy your beverage? I really liked that a lot. Yeah, what is it you got in there? I, I wish it was, it's agua. That's how, that's how the Oh, that's how the it. French say it? No! <laughs> how do the French say water? Oh. <laughs> they do, yeah, yeah. Oh. I think they go like this, so they go, oh. <laughs> Nice. So how are things doing with the baby? What age is your baby now? Oh, yeah, I have a 12-month-old. He just had his birthday March 18th. was his one-year birthday. Yeah, it's great. Congratulations. Yes, my husband and I toasted to the fact that we made it through the year. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Which was it's great. It's very frightening the first year, I it think. Is. It is. I'm still scared. I still go yeah. in all the time to make sure he's alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the time. All the time. I, I, do it, I do it with my 11-year-old as well, and he's like, yeah. get out. He's like, come yeah. on. Right. Uh, no, it's, it's, it's very scary. He, he made the big milestone of becoming a biped, so he walked right before his Congratulations. Birthday. That's always a big moment. It yeah. was a big deal, yeah. yeah. It was a big... Is this your husband we're talking about? Yeah. The, uh... Actually, well, you know, the, I think my husband is so relieved that I have a son to talk about because normally we, I just come on the show and just kill my husband yeah, on, yeah, I know. on, I remember on the air. About before. Yeah, and he's just in the back just dying. So now, he's, you know, I can just kill my Take son it kids. until yeah, my yeah. kid decides to be like, Mommy, yeah, no, that my my, my, my my oldest son is like you can't, you can't talk about me. Anymore. Really? Yeah, just knock it off. I'm not. I, this is not your thing. Yeah. yeah. No, that's true. I mean, they're, yeah. he's a private citizen. Yeah, and no, yeah. I get it. I'm like, I'm sorry. I apologize. He's, and then he said, "Your grown-up jokes are not funny to me." <laughs> <laughs> and I said, I said, my jokes are not grown up. <laughs> so they're just not funny. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, no, he's a, that's a he was, that's a bummer. Yeah, no, they get very sassy. Yeah, Fast. I luckily, I mean, I don't know. I, are I was you all strict. The, are you going to have? Are you going to be a strict parent? I I'm trying to limit the nose right now because I don't want everything to be a no. But yeah, you'll join the rest of us. It's tough. Soon. I know. <laughs> I will. No, I'm pretty. I actually am strict. My husband's the he's the easy one for sure. For sure, I'm going to be the one that's like. Well, you know. Ah, yeah. Well, laying down the law. Yeah. We'll see when necessary. He's walking now. He, yep, it's real, real cute. Um, I mean, I was like, maybe he'll be like kind of a dummy about it and like not do it for a while. And my husband was like, I want to know. Is your husband competitive? My husband's competitive. So yeah. my husband was like, when do you, like, when did every other baby that we know walk and will our son do it before then? <laughs> see, now, that's people, 
what he wanted to know. Do and that. I was like, you understand, once he can go, like, we're screwed. Yes. Like, it's over for us. Once they're mobile, yeah. it's a whole different game. For that a is while, just zone defense. He had a push you know. toy that he pushed around, yeah. and it made noise, so it was like, bah, 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 bah. I mean, it was really annoying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he, we, could, he, we knew where he was, because right. we could hear him at all times. Yeah, you couldn't see him, but you could now, hear him. Now, yeah. yeah, now it's like, he just, you know, he's in his little bare feet, and he's shuffling around. You have no idea where the heck the kid is. I literally went to his room the other day, and he wasn't there, and I freaked out, and it's like, where could he be? I mean, you can't go anywhere. But I just he had the of the a driveway? panic what, what? shoot through me. Yeah. No, he was like behind a door, but I didn't see him right away. <laughs> so <laughs> And he had his binking in his mouth, so he doesn't make, usually I can get him, if I yell his name, he'll like talk, but nothing. This, so, is, this is not your husband we're talking about. Anymore. Again. Again, this is my 12-year-old right, okay. son, know, not okay. my okay. husband, although he does that sometimes, too. What? Well, he just doesn't does want he, me to know he, where he, he is in the he house. He has his pinky in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> That's an agile young man. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I can wait, uh, but I can't. We're out of time, so what do you fancy? Um, oh, my goodness. Mouth organ, I'm so awkward. nervous about this. What? I don't know. I want to win the $50. Oh, so you want to go for the big cash prize? <laughs> yeah, I want the what big cash prize. What time is it? It's time for the I big cash prize. Big cash prize. All right. Here's how you win wait, the big wait, cash prize. Oh, really? don't touch the bag okay, until you win. But oh. is this really $50? Yeah, in, quarter? in, in quarter. Just right there, right now? Yeah, $50. It seem in... like a lot of quarters in that bag. Feel the weight of that. Can uh, I really? Yeah, feel the weight. Underneath. <laughs> I just feel like this is your. This is like twenty dollars. Like, how is that fifty dollars? Would you like to? Would you like to take one out and bite it to make sure that? Like, it's I, not. It's not that. It's that I feel like there's not enough in there to make fifty dollars. Well, there Am is. I crazy, like yes. <laughs> that's fifty. I imagine fifty dollars in quarters is like I wouldn't even be able to carry it. It would be so heavy. You're insane. I guess I <laughs> no, this is fifty dollars in quarters. Look, I was or, very bad at math. I tell you what, I've got so here as well. I got fifty dollars here. <gasps> Well, that's what I want, because this, you know where you can use that. That's the one that I really want. So you want this instead of this? Yeah. All right, so $50 in singles. Okay. You don't want the cash, no, the, the quarters. Yeah, I'll take these instead. I'll take the pile instead. <laughs> Very enough. Can I still have the cool bag with the money sign No, on you can't. <laughs> well, actually, yes. I'll just put the actual $50 in quarters wow. right there. That did see? Cool. $50. Do you but see, count? here's why I can't take this, because that is a choking hazard for my son. Okay, fair enough. That's the main reason why I don't want that in my house. <laughs> He'll just chew these, and then I won't be able to. Yeah, you'll be all right. Yeah, you, you buy him a lot of little binkies. That's true. You can get a lot of binkies. All right, you ready? Okay. Two ways to win. You can either answer a question or guess what's in my box. Here's how that works. I imagine a box in my head, but I don't know what's in it. Only Jeff knows what's in the box. Okay. You try and guess what's in it. If you're right, he'll tell you. If you're wrong, you have to pay a forfeit. What? What's that mean? It means that something sexy happens to you. <laughs> to me, or what? With, with you. <laughs> Or I answer a question? Or you answer a question. You really scared me off there with the sexy thing. It, I, look, so, you're, you're going to win the I money. Got... No one never doesn't win the money. You're <laughs> going to win the money. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go I'm going to go for the question. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, come on. All right. Okay. Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Its capital city is Reykjavik. If you hear a hospital intercom page, Dr. Brown, what does that generally mean? A, they're looking for Dr. Brown. <laughs> B, someone in the emergency room is in trouble. Or C, there is a security threat in the building. Wow. <laughs> oh. Want me to do it again? Because uh, I really don't want it. No, no, Dr. Uh -huh. Brown, I got it. Okay, they say Dr. Brown. You're saying it's either... It's either just they're looking for Dr. Brown. Right. Or it's a code for something. Yeah, it's either emergency room, emergency or, room a security or security, security threat code. Dr. Brown. I feel like they're just looking for Dr. Brown. Now that's close. <laughs> <laughs> no. But I, that's not my answer. Right, I didn't think that's it was. I didn't think it was. I didn't think it was. <laughs> 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 Is he adorable? <laughs> it's just what I was thinking.
thing. Yeah, I know, I get it. But if I were gonna answer it, yeah, <laughs> for real, I would say that it, I don't even know. You, no, no, I think I think in these post um, 9/11 times. <laughs> Hey, why don't you show your clip again if you want to do that? <laughs> that, uh, um, that, it, that it means a, it's like a, it's a security threat. It is a security threat! Yeah. You win $50 a little bit of money. Yeah. 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 I don't know. What it was were a, you raising it there? It was a 90s thing. What I was flashbacking. Oh, okay. You all right? What's going no, my, on? No, my mic pack fell out. Oh, you want I love me to? This, guys, it's real TV. That's what happens on you, TV. Do you want me to? Look, look. Yeah. There's a better view anyway. Okay. You want, you want me to, uh, you want me to, you want me to put it back in there? You want me to? <laughs> you want to tuck it? You want to tuck it in? Yeah, yeah, I'll tuck yeah, it in. Yeah, you can tuck it in. You can tuck it in. Yeah, yeah, I'll do it. Someone's got the sound guy was already back there. I mean, you know, might as well be. It's, it's a perk of the show, being the oh head God of the show, please. right? <laughs> you look good. I mean, like really good. Cardio bar. I'm thinking. <laughs> no. Really? Neither one of those words makes sense to me. Cardio or bar. No, I don't know what no, you're talking about. I think about. you look like you're in some serious regimen for sexy health. Wow. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. I'm just saying. Thank you look good. You. That's all. Sexy health. Well, do you do you have some kind of thing that you do? Um, no, I'll be, <laughs> sure, I do <either laughs> some stuff every once in a while, Right. Well. but I don't know, I'm mostly just chasing, I have kids, I chase yeah, around that's, my kids. Yeah, uh, that'll keep and, you in shape. Yeah. You know, that's like the least sexy thing I can say. I have babies. Well, yeah, that's but you, what, you run after them, it I keeps do. you in shape, and you're also I covered in vomit them. and poo most of the time. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes, I actually was just reminded, I, I saw a friend who I hadn't seen in a while. The last time that I saw her, we were in a restaurant and my kid got the runs and I literally carried him through a public restaurant like this with poop just <laughs> poop, <laughs> dripping out to the bathroom. It had already like gone all over. And then I got into the bathroom, they had no changing table. I had to change Those the bastards. kid yeah. on the floor of this bathroom. You can't He's put your baby on the fine. floor, it's dirty. There's other people's babies pooed on there. That was crap. Everywhere yeah. already. I mean, how much worse could it get? He was oh, covered in poops. I know. You know, it's terrible. I, what age are your babies? Well, he. Uh, I have a 15-month-old and a nearly three-year-old. Right. So yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, the three-year-old you probably get. He's. He yeah. now is. He now likes to poop in a toilet. Yeah. So good, good yeah. on him, guys. And uh, that like... that stays with you to your early 50. <laughs> <laughs> and then. And then. But you know what? It won't be my problem at that point. No, I, I guess no. I, I'm 51. Oh, you're just, so what are you telling me? Uh, I, I, some people have to run across the restaurant <laughs> with. You're just walking uh, through, drip, yeah, drip. Yeah. Was it your birthday recently? When oh, was birthday? yes. It was my birthday. Happy birthday. Thank Is you. Is it your birthday on Valentine's Day? No, but what are you doing for Valentine's Day? Oh, the, here. I'm here. Obviously. You're here? Right. Yeah. We're here. We, are we? Let me just be clear. Are we each other's date for Valentine's Day? Yes, we, we are. are. <laughs> right? I got you chocolates. I got, yes, chocolates. Oh, some and, gals. And I got you uh, a pie. What? And, and, uh, you know and maybe later. What? Don't, don't put that in your mouth. No, I will No, because I That's use this all the time. Your, I know. Yeah, no, yeah. I did that. Did you ever smoked a pipe? No. Why not? My father smoked a pipe when I was little, though. Did he solve crimes? <laughs> I wish. Really? No. He, he wasn't a crime he solver? He just, no, he's just a dude who likes to smoke a pipe back in the day. It was the 70s, man. Pipes were in. Oh, that kind of pipe. Yeah. No, not that kind of pipe. No. Oh, right. A okay. regular old, you know, packet pipe. Kind of thing. No, that sounds even worse. <laughs> Are you eating that chocolate? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna eat it. Go ahead. Go ahead. I just want to see if you survive. <laughs> well, how old no, no, is it's it? good. It's good. I eat it. I'm just. I'm not doing sugar right now. It looks right like now. Hanukkah guilt. I figured it's fine. Yeah, Wait, no, it is fine. Yes, I've eaten like it before. Some, some dictator on here or something. It's me. It's me that's on it. Oh well, exactly. There you go. Honestly, I can't read this, but it's a great day for America. Yes. What this prophet says. Go on then. 
good. So I'm pretty happy with it. How, how do I taste it? You... <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> you taste... What? It's chocolatey. You taste chocolatey delicious. Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. uh... You do. So, uh, really uh, nearly three and the other one's for 15 months, you said? Mm-hmm. Oh, man, yeah. that's a lot of work. You getting any sleep? Mm, yeah. Really? They're doing all right sleep-wise. Oh, see. Everyone's sick now. I you know, that. I'm traveling all oh. the time. I'm on airplanes. I had this guy, like, breathing on me the other, <laughs> the other night. You know, I watch, um, I've been watching Downton Abbey. Oh, I love airplane. it. Oh, yes, I do mm -hmm. enjoy it. Right, right. That's where the pipe's from. Right. Uh -huh. I know how much you love Downton, so I... I become a huge Downton addict on the airplane. Mm -hmm. And um, so I'm watching it, and this guy next to me has ordered Gravity on, like, the little tiny TV, which is, like, a total waste That's of, like, right. what are you, you thinking? Yeah, what's Gravity wrong with you, man, TV? idiot? He yeah. realizes it very quickly and immediately just, like, comes, like, right here and just starts watching Downton Abbey, like, over my shoulder. Uh. But he has his own earphones on, so he can't even hear what's going on, so he's literally just, like, doing this. And he's got a cold, and he's got bad breath, and he's got all kinds of issues, and, like... Was it George Clooney? <laughs> Do you have some insight into George Clooney's breath? I don't know why I, I, don't know why I said that. <laughs> I Sometimes either. you just say things and go, well, he'll never be on. <laughs> I, I've never even met George Clooney. I'm sure his breath smells like cookies, but I, it's too late now. No I matter what I say, smells... I'll be known as the guy that said that. That's right, sure. Yeah. That'll be on, that's going to be on the gravestone. Oh, really? What? The said, man who said... said George Clooney, Clooney had, had... He doesn't have bad breath. Yeah, I don't want to start that He's rumor. got toilet breath. That's what you said. I heard it. I heard so, you say that. So, anyway, so the guy's <laughs> breathing on you and you got his disease? No, I don't know, but it's been... I was really every, sick. Everyone's, you know, I'm did you a get a flu off. shot? I did get a flu shot, yeah. yeah. When you have little babies, you have to get flu Got it, yeah. But yeah. you get sick all the time. Is your, your three-year-old preschool? Runny nose for oh, five months. Gosh. For five months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one cares about this. No one cares. <laughs> <laughs> But, kids, you, kids, but you have to I understand. I've been running nose for five months. Oh, I'm so bored of myself right now. Oh, boy. You have to understand. I don't give a care what anybody cares about. <laughs> That's I, what I I, and it's about good you. that I said I don't give a care. You're right. See, I'm learning. I'm learning. He's I'll learning. keep at it then. Tutsi Frutsi. You're, you're a racist, man. <laughs> so you, do you take your kids when you're flying around? I haven't recently been taking them, no. Because you're doing promotion of, for the movie, right? I've been, I've been commuting uh, also to shoot a movie in Atlanta, actually, where you're going, right? Yeah, the weekend. Yeah, you're yeah. going to be there. Yeah, are you going to be there? No. <laughs> you're gonna Is that on purpose? No, I would love to be there with you. Please, for my Valentine. Oh, yeah, that's right. Of course right, I yeah. want to be there with you. more chocolate, then. I kind of, I, I got to be honest, this chocolate's really good. Yeah, it is pretty good. You should hand it out. No. <laughs> it's just for me? Is yeah, that so why? I got you the chocolates. If you want to uh, hand it out, that's up to you. Okay. But I, I'm okay. not handing it out. All right, good No, to know. I got you the chocolates and the other special surprise. What's the other special surprise? I've still got to think about it. <laughs> I should have said something. Oh, well. <laughs> you know that Jeff, by the way, that's how my brother Jeff spells his name. But not a lot of, it's a very English, Scottish English way to spell, way of spell Jeff. Yeah, Jeff. Yeah. G-E-O-F-F. -F. It's yeah. for, for Jeffrey. Yes, R E Y. Is your brother's name Jeffrey? Yes, it is. Hmm, is he English? G E O F F R E Y. We are English, Irish, Scottish, and Welsh, my family. You're sort of United Kingdom? Yes, all UK. <laughs> all UK, as they say. Have you been over there? I have. And mm -hmm. did you enjoy it? I did very much. Scotland, I really love. Really? What did you go I to did. in Scotland? Uh, I went to St. I, we were in, um, at St. Andrews. Oh, yes. That's we were in there. Edinburgh. That's the capital city. Amazing. Yes. That place. Amazing. Where are you from? Are you from the, Glasgow. there? Oh, Glasgow. No, I didn't go there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I just didn't make it there that, that time. I ha life is long. I'm sure I'll get there. Oh, well. At some point. It's always if Glasgow's you, your plan B. That's I'm, why. I'm hoping that Glasgow was the surprise. Hello. That's right. The That's surprise the is surprise. I have transported the city of Glasgow <laughs> right here. Come on out, angry drunk people. <laughs> It sounds like my kind no, of town. No, it's, no, it's fine. It was just it, all the angry drunks left when I did. Really? I was the angry drunk. Who you knew? Were the yeah. Main one. Anyway, we have to take a break. Oh, all right. Not from each other, just in commercials. Oh, all right. Well, that's good. I think it'd be we weird to break up with me on Valentine's Day. Yeah, that, I think we should see other people. Though. <laughs> that would be weird. Have you ever broken up with someone on Valentine's Day? No. Mm-mm. So this is a first then. Yeah. Yep. 
So thanks. Got a little awkward there for thanks. a minute. Yeah. Awkward pause. Here we go. <laughs> No, usually I get to say when the awkward pause is. Well. Oh. Apparently now anyone can just help yourselves at home. <laughs> have a drink, have a drink, have some chocolate. Do say the awkward pause. You want to dance with a horse? Yeah, I do. We'll be right back, we'll be right back. We'll be right back. Uh, right. Welcome back, everybody. I was just uh, talking to Elizabeth about Listerine. What, what oh! You, yeah, yeah. What, what no, is I it again? You were wanting to talk about Listerine? Well, I just started the, the Listerine 21 Day Challenge, which is the challenge. Well, you only, only eat Listerine for 21 you don't days. Eat Listerine. You swish twice a day with it. Oh, I see. You know, then I, little you know, kids get health care and they get to go back to school, which kids love. For school? <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, you know what? I've got uh, a water pick. I just got that recently. You just dropped chocolate on I my did. sock. Oh. Oh, you have such nice socks on. They're actually tights. No, they're not. They go all the way up. Yeah, they're tights in here. Oh. What? Come on. Now you have to show me the top. Oh, I knew it. They're not. Turned you on a little I... bit. There, all okay, right. Huh? See, that, that's as leg. white as the color white gets. I actually yeah. thought you were kind of tan. No, no, that's just age. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, no, I got a water pick thing. Yeah. And you, you kind of, it's amazing. It's fantastic. It's like going to the dentist, you know, the, but without the, all the sitting down and paying. <laughs> we call that in our house, tickling your teeth. You got to tickle your teeth, tickle your teeth. That's how I get my kids to brush their teeth. I pretend it's like tickling. It doesn't work very well. <laughs> <laughs> tickle your teeth? Tickle your teeth. Are you obsessed with I got teeth? that from my sister. What's the deal with you and teeth? I about? am. I, well... I'm sort I'm weirdly big on oral health. It's like a thing with me. I mean, I make my living with this this mouth. You only get one of them. Oh god. Everybody. Just just for the record. I smile with my smile. Just just for the record. I didn't do I didn't do anything there. I didn't do a thing. I said I it was you in the audience. None of them were right. I go right in there. I dove right in myself. They laughed, and I don't. I didn't even understand what they were doing. Oh, stop! You knew exactly what you were doing. No, I really didn't know that time. Usually, I do know. That well, one, you're tired. That one you got away from me. It got away from me. That one. Nah, you're fine. No. Yeah, you're fine. You know who has really cool teeth? Secretariat. Mm. <laughs> Look at that mouth. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Me gusta. Yeah, he understood. I, so he speaks I, Spanish, you know. I heard it earlier yeah, on, yeah. Exactly. It was amazing in the voice of Morgan Freeman. He might do it again if you ask nicely. Tacos El Carbon. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're out of time. Oh. Oh, nice, all right. Yeah. Did we, uh, what did we talk? Did we talk about anything that we? Sh uh, the, the movie. I'm did in the Lego movie? movie. I'm in the Lego movie. I'm in the Lego movie. Yeah. Yeah. I'm in that movie. Yeah, yeah, you, I play Wild Style. My oh. boyfriend's Batman. Uh, Emmett's the other guy. It's played by Chris Pratt. You got to go see it. There you go. Done. We finished it. We worked it out. Beautiful thing. We worked it out. It, but it didn't happen to you. No, that, that didn't happen to me. I can right. honestly say that. Well, no, it wouldn't happen to you. You've been married now for like 15 I years mean, or something. I mean, I have been married, yeah, a long time. So. Right. And I, I, try, I try not to leave poop for my husband. No. Lying around. I don't know. Sometimes. He would probably argue with that, actually. <laughs> would he? I think it's good to keep things, you know, spiced up in your marriage. Maybe, <laughs> maybe a little bag of poop here and there, my you know? It's just, it's a part of life, yeah. you know, we all do it. Where did you meet your husband? I met him, you love talking about my husband. Well, because I fancy you. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to figure out if it's going to work out between you and him. We've been together a lot, yeah, it's working. Yeah. 16 years we've been together. That's fantastic. Now, I'm actually yeah. fascinated by that. That's great. I know. Did you meet at school then? You must yeah, have met at school. Yeah, I met him my very first day of college. Wow. Uh, yeah, and he took me right off the market. When did you, when did you go to college? I went to the University of Pennsylvania in Philadelphia. Is that a good one? It's a pretty good one. Yeah? yeah. What did you study? I studied communications and um, in theater arts, and I thought I was Beer drinking be, sounds like I to me. I did a lot of yeah. theater. I studied sorority arts. Uh-huh. <laughs> I did a bit of that. I don't know what that means. <laughs>
It's uh, it's the art of being um, of just getting boozed up most of the time. Oh yeah, yeah. no, I, I I I've studied the sorority art myself. Yes. Then. Yeah. Well. And it's, I, I, I'm so happy that you, that you came back and, and, was, and visited with us and told us the lovely story yeah. about your friend and the poop. Yep. I feel... I think that the more we can say poop, the funnier... That word just never loses its funniness. I agree. Poop and boog are, are never not funny. I, I agree. Totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, totally. I mean, I wish you had a bat in the cave right now that we could talk about, but no. <laughs> <laughs> a bat in the cave? <laughs> you never heard that? Who's to say I don't? <laughs> No, I, uh, I, I don't. No. I can like, No. It oh, looks a, a clear. Bat, yeah, no, no. A no. bat in your cave. Yeah, yeah, right. Hello? What well, it's Scottish? been lovely. Yeah, it's Scottish. Yeah, we don't, we you don't, don't have that. We don't have bats. Don't have no, we, we say, uh, you know, we say uh, something else in the cave. <laughs> <laughs> Sheep in the cave. I don't know. <laughs> All right, we have to go. Uh, the lovely Elizabeth Banks, everybody. We'll be right back. Elizabeth Banks, everybody. Absolutely charming, and I have Thank to you. say, I'm very happy to see you blonde again. Thank, yes, me too. That was a wig in that clip. Really? Yeah. So you never went that color at all? I have gone that color, um, just not for that movie. I couldn't do it for that movie. I don't even remember why. I was doing something else. I had to be blonde. We wigged it. We wigged it? We wigged it. Is that how you say it in Hollywood? Yeah. Nah, we wigged it, man. <laughs> I like it. I'm going to wig it later. Hey, Jeff, you want to wig it later? Yeah, man. Yeah. Let's wig it. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations, you just got a new little baby running around. I That's have, nice. yes, a, a mini human lives in my house with yeah. me now for like the next 20 years. Really? Yeah, it looks no, like I, I've got a permanent roommate. 18, out you go. You're out. Yeah. I, I'm giving him an extra two, I don't know why. No, I don't know. What name? Maybe I'll Do change my mind, mind. His name is Felix. Oh, that's nice. Yes. Is he a cat? <laughs> he, he gets a lot of cats as gifts. Right. Um, yeah. No, I, it means happy. Does it really, Felix? Happy that's a nice name, actually. You happy. should have another kid and call him Oscar. By the way, a lot of people, a lot of people think his name is Oscar. These these young kids have no idea who Oscar and Felix are. By the way, there's no That's young just kids me in this crowd. I don't just know. Me and you. I don't know who you're seeing, but we get bus <laughs> parties like... coming in from San Bernardino, and they're uh... <laughs> now. Uh, will you get any sleep? How old is he? He is uh, he's four months, and my he takes very good care of us. So I have to say he sleeps really well. Yeah. Really? Yeah. You know I've got a six month old. He he doesn't sleep that good. No. No, no. It's clearly your fault. <laughs> <laughs> well, I I don't know about you. I I've got an older boy and who's ten, who I still go in at night when he's sleeping and poke him to see if he's still That's alive. Just sure poke him. I know yeah. that is a constant. No, they're like, are you all right? Like, yeah. Dad, you know, I'll, when he's going to college, I'll be like coming into his dorm, like, yeah. hey, you all right? You all right? It's sort of, it's, it's what we take on when it's, we bring yeah, him into the world, isn't yeah, it? I, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm kind of worried that I'm a crap parent. No. Thanks. I feel better. <laughs> Do you think you'll be strict? Everyone Are you going to be strict? Are you going to be kind of tough? Yeah. Were you wild when you were a kid, though? I thought, this is one of America's oldest cities, and I got there, and it's still not finished. <laughs> That's it's true. not finished yet. They're still <laughs> building it. 200, and, 300, 400 years to be building this. That's a big yeah. dig. You know what I'm the talking about? A big dig. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a cobblestone, old school, you know, really pretty city. Do you watch the Boston Legal? Boston Legal on? Do you Wait, watch that, is that show? Is that Shatner's show? Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that awesome? I only want to watch Shatter and Candace Bergen. No, no, James Spader as well. That, I'm oh, telling yeah. you, is that best show on television? <laughs> you know, outside of everything on CBS. That, I love that show. <laughs> that is a fantastic Let show. Let me tell you, it would be a great show, though. What? Ghost Chimp <laughs> Ghost You're right. Yeah. You're right. The girl's smart. Lesbian Banks, everybody. We'll be right back with Modest Mouse. Modest Mouse, make it back. It's lovely to see you again, and you look fantastic. So do you. Oh, stop. No, you. Really? You? Yes. No, you. <laughs> Actually, there's a parade in West Hollywood tonight. I'd really love that dress. Oh. Yeah. 
Of course, yeah. I could never get into it. <laughs> or could I? You might nah. be able to. <laughs> Three movies at the same time. I That's know. kind of careless, isn't I it? I just feel so silly, frankly. Right, yeah. I mean, it's not my fault. I will say that. Right. Uh, I didn't mean for it to happen this way. I shot them in the opposite order in which they're coming out, actually. So I was right. not, you know, W was kind of rushed. Right, yeah. We, we finished it and it came out two months later. Yeah. And, That's uh, fast for a film, isn't really it? Really fast. That's usually television goes at that speed. Mm -hmm. we, we actually recorded this program two months ago. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Dang it, I missed it. Yeah, it's all right. You didn't miss much. I did the recap in Australia and it was hilarious. I saw oh. the Australian recap. Oh, my Lord. Yeah. People were I laughing. No, no one in Australia drinks Fosters, apparently. That's what I've been told. I've been to Australia. And did they drink Fosters? I drank a lot of it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if they were drinking it. I was, I had mine. I didn't give a crap about they were drinking. Um, have you ever been to Australia? No. Oh, you, you should go. I know. I would love to They've go. Got, they have spiders there that when you go to the bathroom, the spider will bite you on the butt and kill you. How enticing. <laughs> Why wouldn't I go right now? Going, going to the bathroom is a big adventure. <laughs> I, I don't know if I You're want that You're dancing kind of with adventure. death. I'm dancing with death most of the time I go to the bathroom. Really? Come on. <laughs> Do you have trouble downstairs? <laughs> you can tell you me. I'm Dr. Craig. I can help you. That's I'm, do right. I'm a doctor. Dr. I'm not really a doctor. Gray. Would you be interested in being a doctor or just dressing I, up as one? I actually used to love biology and, you know, doing the frogs and tearing them open. And oh, I love I that stuff. No. I love the television shows where they dig into everybody and the blood comes out and you can see all that stuff. I love it. <laughs> I can't get enough. <laughs> I cannot what? get enough. Oh, the, uh, the... You know, the operator show. Like, where they're operator. showing operation. Yeah, that's your operator. operation. That's awesome. <laughs> operation. I love that show when they have, like, five surgeons and we yes. see who gets voted off the island. Have you ever seen one? <laughs> exactly. I think that's been, well, that would be good actually, wouldn't it? These surgery. Yeah. Right? And surgery. The, the reality show surgery and you have different doctors competing to be top surgeon. Top doctor, yeah. Right? And you have different people that have to have an operation every week and if the person dies, you're voted off. Off. Yeah. I love that idea. Just something I came up with this, right there. Just right dude, there. This yeah. is why you have a career in TV. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's why there I have this is. career in TV. <laughs> now, tell me about the uh, about the Role Models film, because I'm quite interested in this film. I'm, I'm interested in the other ones, too, but yeah. I'm interested in the Role Models film. Role Models, you know, it's about these two guys who are, are kind of losers and the worst type of mentor, and they become mentors to these young kids, sort of in a Big Brother program. Why? Uh, because they, otherwise they have to go to jail. This is a this is an option in court. Now? Yeah, it's, yeah, you it's, can actually... it's their community service. Ah, right, yeah. right. So they right. get they get sentenced to community service instead of jail. Right. So they're afraid of getting raped in jail. Right. And by other men. So I, they decide. I, I knew instead, what you were saying. Yeah. That, you know, right. you get I was trying I... to get past it quickly. Is what I was doing. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, right. That's I can right. describe it for you. No, no, no you, you're good. No, you, you don't have to. Um, and so, anyway, they end up doing community service instead, and so they mentor these young kids, and they're terrible mentors. I don't know. Did you ever mentor anyone? <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Come on! I mean, I wouldn't let you near I my dro kids. I dropped out of high school at 16, <laughs> and I was drunk until I was 29. <laughs> Right. That's yeah, not no. someone you want. I mean, I actually got asked to speak at a, a, a college, though, a graduation thing. Did you do it? No. Why? Because, look, I dropped out of high school at 16, and then I get my show on TV, you know, 25 years later, or wherever it is, and they asked me to go and talk to the college kids. Right. What am I going to say to them? Right. Suckers. I never went. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Suckers. You could be just getting high and getting drunk. <laughs> You know, it's not... It's, that's true. I like that about yeah, you. No, yeah, no, I... You gotta You really it. know yourself. Yeah, yeah that's right. Um, well, I mentored some little kids. Uh, I worked at the Catholic Youth Center. Oh. And, Are you uh, a Catholic? I was. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, you can resign from it now? Yeah, apparently. Yeah, I'm thinking of having a tattoo removed as well. I think it's... <laughs> and, um, I, I, uh... I ran the game room, the after-school game room, and right. I also supervised dances for, like, 8th and ninth graders. So, really? you know, 12, 13, 14-year-olds dancing. And their favorite thing to do back then at the dances mm -hmm. uh, was to put, the boys would put their hands on the girls' butts. Oh. This is, like, the I, big, I still sexy thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and, do, and slow dance, you know? It's, like, totally stiff slow dancing with, like, hands on butts. You bet and it's all stiff. Yeah. <laughs> A 12-year-old boy get your hand on an ass? Bubble, yeah. So, of course, 
all the other chaperones, because I was like 15 at this point. I mean, I was right. a terrible role model for these kids. So at 15, I'm thinking, that's cute. Like, how adorable. And all the other, uh, you know, all the other dance supervisors are like parents. Right. So they're walking around pulling kids' hands off. You Taking know, just hands like, off of us. Yeah, just like yeah. you see in a movie, like a bad, you know, a bad John Hughes movie, you know, like right. taking the hands off. And I would go I would go back around and be like, you can keep them on. <laughs> or or I would move kids into like dark corners and just be like <laughs> See what happens, you know? Just stir the pot. That's Stir fantastic. And is that what got you drummed out of Catholicism? Uh, partly. Yeah, yeah. Partly. It was the first step out for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. That's a, and, yeah. Then, and then the, the Zach and Miri make a porno movie. Yes. You make a, make we a make a porno. porno. You make a porno. Yeah. Do you do porno things in the movie? Uh, I do do some porno. I do some things in the movie. I, I convinced myself naively, frankly, mm -hmm. that I wasn't that concerned with it. Like, oh, it's fine, you know, I have sex with Seth Rogen, but I don't do anything I'm embarrassed of, and I don't do anything that, you know, I wouldn't let my mom see. Right. And then my mom saw it. Ah. And I realized that it's very intimate, this moment, and uh, it maybe wasn't, I didn't quite think it through. And now my in-laws, my husband's parents. Because what did your husband make of it? They're yeah. threatening to see it, and oh, which I want them to see it on a certain level. Yes. I just want them to be able to close their eyes and ears and all other senses for like 10 minutes of the movie. <laughs> But I don't think they're going to be able to do that. So I'm not sure if, they're, if it's going to get seen by them, but we'll see. I well, mean, it's really it? scary to have your dad-in-law, like, go see you, like, have sex with someone other than their son. <laughs> <laughs> it's not really... I can't not, go anywhere near this. Like, you know, it's I, not, I just, like if you yeah. were so, you know, if you had a daughter-in-law that you were, like, respected and loved, and, you know, you just wouldn't want to go see them, you know, make it with Seth Rogen. <laughs> I don't know. I, really, all right. Well, yeah, yeah. maybe I mean, I, maybe I'm in the clear. I, yeah, don't, I don't know. know. I mean, I'm I'm European. We're kind of into all that. Yeah. Kind of thing. yeah. I don't know. They're not European. Yeah. I'm well, in trouble. Listen. Well, good luck with it, and and, and well done, and congratulations on the enormous success. Thanks. I mean, it's just just lovely. It's lovely to see you again. And you. Elizabeth Banks, everybody. We'll be right back. She didn't know how right she was. Please welcome Elizabeth Banks, everybody. Elizabeth Banks. Hello, dear. Hi. Hello, my love. How are you? Hi. Great. You look sensational. Oh, May I say it's, sensational? It's the red. It's my, this is my... No, the red's just a color. I've seen red. It's you mm. inside the red that's Ooh. working it for me. Absolutely. Saucy. And your shoes are very nice. I know. These yeah. are... Well, we know what these are. Whoa, these are yes, come blank me shoes. This, that, those shoes are... Uh, oh, what did you say? <laughs> No, I thought those shoes were a little more like... you. Usually when girls wear them, they're dancing. Ah. You know, gentlemen, please welcome. Oh. Uh, Apparently. Interesting. Aren't they, aren't they stripper don't, heels? Don't you think they're stripper heels? No, I don't know. I don't know. No, I think about. that's exactly what you were saying. I was implying it. You would know better than me. I would not know. I I only. I like. I made the joke first. I said they were come blank me shoes. Yeah, come fly. Elizabeth, do you ever shorten your name to Liz or Betty? Sure. Or? Uh, I like Betty. I've always Betty's a nice name, isn't it? I mostly go by Liz, though. So. Liz. My father Listen. calls me Lib with a B. Why? He likes to be different. I don't right, know. Right, okay. Did he have a cold at one point in his life? And that's <laughs> how he goes, Lib, and you get me some real, uh, medication. You know, daddies have names for their little girls, and that's his name. Yes, for they do. Mm -hmm. Yes, they do. <laughs> Talking about. Uh, that's a whole different thing you're talking about there, Libby. Uh, anyway, um, Spider-Man 3, that's all right. Isn't yeah, it? it's all right. It's a big movie. We don't need to talk about that. What I want to know Ooh, about... Okay. Ghost Chimp MD. Oh, I, don't... I can 
God. Kind of. I'm I know. Really... You'd be great in that. That's nice. You'd be great. I love chimps. Especially smart ones. I mean, smart enough to be He's a doctor. He's a doctor, this chimp. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And um, I, I look good in a nurse's uniform. I'll bet you do. And uh, Maybe I we should know. try that I'm first off the bat. I think if you recast it, then we can get it on the air, right? I mean... Well, well I hadn't, I'd only go as far as the chimp. You would be perfect as the chimp's uh, nurse. There we go. Or exactly. maybe... No, that no, that's sexist. Doctor. Another doctor in the practice. <gasps> well, yeah, I Yeah, you're the kind of thing. sexy doctor and he's the kind of monkey doctor. Yeah, I can be a specialist. Yeah, you'd be a specialist on, uh, and uh, what would you like to be a specialist on? Mm, how about teeth? No, urology. That's a thing. Urology. I don't know. I get to look at you know things. Yes, all day. you do. Yes. <laughs> I think you you would be okay with that. As soon as you got the little nurse's uniform, you'd be fine. And the, you're in scrubs. Yes. Yo, uh, do you wear a nurse's uniform in that? Uh, no, I am uh, Zach Braff's baby's mama. In oh, that show. So oh, I wear, that's not not in real life. Then. Uh, no, no, I wear a giant fat suit uh, or pregnancy suit, which is not fat for the ladies at home who are pregnant. Um, right. And uh, that's pretty fun. It's too late. Although, you lost them already. Yeah, yeah. I, I just, I, I yeah, just, yeah, yeah. No, I've uh, dealt with a pregnant lady before. It's, you, you, there's no winning this no. situation. Anymore. Just say you're sorry. Uh, I'm and you sorry. Move on. It's all right. I'm sorry, all you fatties. Oh, hey. Oh, no, she didn't. The views expressed by Elizabeth Banks are not necessarily the views of the CBS Corporation or me personally. No, no, I actually I loved wearing it. It does make you walk differently and move differently. And when I sit down, because it's not actually attached to my stomach, um, it kind of comes up into my chest. So it looks like I have a head on top. I look like a sort of two pumpkins. Basically. I think I'll stick with a little nursery outfit. I am going to do with that. Yeah, yeah, no. It's good though. Now you, uh, you're, you're married, right? I am married. Wait, yes. uh, is your husband an actor? No. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. No, he is not an actor. He is my college sweetheart, actually. Really, you married your colleague? How lovely. Yeah, yeah. Almost 15 years we've known each other, which is. Have you been married itself. 15 years? No, mm -mm, no. I met him when I first met him. Actually, he was wearing a vest with no shirt. Whoa. Which I thought was very bold. Very swanky. <laughs> and, um, tattoos or no tattoos? No tattoos, no, no tattoos. Okay, classy. And, um, and we, we, got into a, <laughs> we got into a fight. He, he's, I thought he was hitting on me. Mm -hmm. And I was interested. Right. And um, I said, well, you know, you should call me sometime. And, you know, here's my, I, here's my number. And he said, oh, yeah, I don't have a phone. <laughs> and I thought... Dude, everybody has a phone. I mean, you know, if you don't want to call me, it's cool. But he completely and utterly rejected me. And, and then he, he started arguing. He's, no, I, I was walking away. And he's like, I really don't have a phone. It was the first day of college, my first day. And he had not hooked up his phone yet. Yeah. He so, hooked up something um, else, though, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, he hooked up my heart. Card. Yes, he did. And, uh, and yeah, so that was it. He did, he ever, he, did he ever get a phone? He, ne or? he did get a phone, but he never actually called me. I think probably three weeks went by before I called him, but I saw him again a couple days later. And he remembered my name and I was wearing my Boston Red Sox cap and he remembered my bo that I was a Red Sox fan and and so we went from there. So you are a Red Sox fan then? Do you uh, go Do you go to Boston? And you I go do. Are yeah, you from Boston? Uh, I'm from Western Massachusetts, which is the other end of the state, the other end of the Mass Pike. But yeah. uh, I've been known to go to Fenway many, many a game. You know, I've been to Boston a few times and it's yeah. one of America's oldest cities, it right? Is. Now, when I went there with me... <laughs> I just wanted to put my legs up on the desk. Yeah, you do. Look, I have to be yourself. careful. I yeah, can't no, show my whoopie boops. Yeah, no, be careful with that. All right. Uh, yeah. yeah, be careful. <laughs> How are you? You're all right. Three movies, for heaven's sake. That was Laura Bush you were that doing That was, yeah. I've yes. met her. When? Oh, you hosted the, yeah. Yeah, the White House course. I one. met her too. Really? Yeah, what did you think? I thought she was fabulous. <laughs> In what, in what way? She was actually very sweet to me. She was very, very nice. She yeah. was very uh, Texan and very uh, friendly and yeah. polite. And I, I, I wish I could say something dramatic and bad about I know. her, but I can't. I, I she was very nice. I felt the same way, yeah. She yeah. was wearing pearls in a twin set when I met her. She so was I. Very mm. much, you know. <laughs> she looked very much the first lady. I was surprised by her accent, though. She's so Texan. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, it, it's, it is her identity, so it, right. but I don't know. It was very shocking to me that, that she... Uh, maintain such a, a deep southern accent. Yeah, I know. No, she must work very hard at it. I do the same. <laughs> what about, uh, what have you been, you're making three movies. Um, have you been doing any uh, theatre or any kind of... Um, you know, I did an improv show this weekend. Nice. Well, that's um, good because you don't have to rehearse for that. No, that's true. Yeah. You just show up and do it. And I actually, uh, I, I, I mostly just did monologues and I... I fashioned myself a connoisseur of poop stories. Hello, matron. Yep. Um, 
and so I this the, my the entire improv show became about poop. Actually, do you know many poop stories? I do. One of my favorite poop stories. Please do tell actually, me. It. Yeah, is um, it's about it's about a friend. Uh, this is this did not happen to me. Okay. Um, but my uh, a that friend of mine a, really All right. um, a friend of mine ha was you know just having the worst time of her life. She couldn't. Get a job. She had been dumped. You know, it was like she was down the dumps. And a friend of her of hers had moved to London recently, so she went to visit her in London. Have a have a big, you know, girly party mm -hmm. in London. So they go out. They're having the time. They're laughs, drinking a little. They meet up with some dudes. I like this, it. Yeah. I like where it's going. This one guy um, mm -hmm. hits on my friend, and she's like, he's the perfect guy to meet when you're having the worst time of your life. You know, he's he's compliments her and he's lovely and he's into her and so they of course one that's thing the, leads to the another criteria? well they go back to his apartment you look sensational i'm really into you yeah done sometimes that's all a woman wow, needs wow so they go back to this guy's place and of course they do it oh and, uh, that's great um the next morning <laughs> yep <laughs> the next morning, um, the, and the, the doing it didn't involve poop. So the next right. morning. So he wasn't German then in any <laughs> way. No. Yeah. No. So uh, he has to go to work, but he says, you know, make yourself at home, take your time, uh, have some breakfast, and you know, and, then, and then get up. Leave me your number. I'll call you later. Okay. It was very lovely. So of course she's like snooping through his stuff, and she's like, you know, having the time of her life in this beautiful London apartment. She's glowing from the night before. Everything's great. She goes to um, do her business, her da her you know daily poop. All right. And um, you know <laughs> it's, it's reading it's reading his magazines and having a lovely time pooping, <laughs> and uh, goes to flush, and the water has been turned off <gasps> in the apartment building. Calamity! There's no flushing. There's nothing to flush. She can't flush it. So she gets a baggie. <laughs> Leave it there. So she gets a baggie and she scoops it into another baggie. And come on, you've all, if you have a doggy, you pick up after your doggy. So yeah, a doggy? Like That's crazy. different. It's on grass. It's your never... own poop. It's not like someone I else's don't... poop. <laughs> no! So this isn't where, this is not even the best part. Oh, really? So she puts the poop in a bag and she ties it up and she's going to take it, you know, and throw it in the garbage. So. She, because she's clearly not leaving it in the apartment. I mean, right, right, that would right, be a disaster. Yeah. So she writes him a lovely note on his kitchen counter and leaves her number and says, "You were, you know, this. It was so great to have met you. I really needed to meet you at this time in my life." And um, she gets all of her stuff together and she goes out of the apartment. And just as the door clicks shut, she remembers that she left the poop on the counter. <laughs> She never heard from him I again. was going to say, did he call her? No, he didn't call. I'd have called her. <laughs> I said, you are so freaky ass woman, let's get it on. That's amazing. Yeah. Did that really happen? Yeah, that really happened. Wow. Yeah. Boy, that